Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about OpenCL or CUDA and which GPU processing mode you should pick. So before we get into that, if you like things about DaVinci Resolve, some tips and some tricks, some color grading and every now and again some editing, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'd really much appreciate it. Alrighty, so GPU, which processing mode should you pick? So we come up to DaVinci Resolve, Preferences and under Memory and GPU, you can choose which processing mode you want DaVinci Resolve to pick. CUDA is made and designed by NVIDIA. So that means they have a dedicated team working on it. They're going to get the best out of the best for this processing software. Now, OpenCL is a little bit different. OpenCL is an open source, obviously OpenCL, meaning that anyone can work on it. So it's a bit like Linux where everyone works on it. I guess CUDA is Windows and OpenCL is Linux meaning they don't really have a set of standards they're trying to reach. I'm sure they're trying to be the best all they can be and everything like that, but basically anyone can work on it, anyone in the community. So it doesn't have that dedicated team always trying to hit those certain marks to make it as best as they can. So I have an NVIDIA card, so I choose CUDA and it makes my resolve run a lot faster and smoother. But if you're a Mac user, you mightn't be able to choose CUDA and you might have to choose OpenCL meaning you're not going to get the best performance. So the reason why that is, is because Mac computers actually use AMD cards. I'm not sure if they all use them now, but what I know of, they always use AMD. So that's why they use OpenCL. Now I have heard and I've read that you can actually choose CUDA as your processing mode with Mac. So if you can, make sure you choose CUDA. It is a lot better than OpenCL. So to choose which one you want, it's very easy. Under GPU processing mode, simply pick CUDA or OpenCL. Now at the moment we're on CUDA and with my limit resolve memory usage, I have it right up and I have Fusion right down. That's because I never use Fusion. So I want all my system memory dedicated to resolve as in dedicated to the color grading and editing, not to Fusion because I'm so hopeless at Fusion. Anything like After Effects, Fusion, I am completely useless. So anyway, we have some footage here now this footage is 4K, but as you can see, it runs perfectly. We have no problems whatsoever. So this doesn't have any grade on it whatsoever. It's completely basic. Now I'm doing this to highlight how well it runs and how it runs with OpenCL. So let's go back and choose OpenCL instead of CUDA. So again, DaVinci Resolve, Preferences, under GPU Processing Mode, let's choose OpenCL. Now, another trick is you want to pick which one. Don't have it on auto. For some reason, every now and again, Resolve will jump back to CUDA. I have no idea why, but it does. So now I always have it on CUDA when I do it. So anyway, let's go back to OpenCL and we're going to go to save. Now you have to restart Resolve for this function to work. So I'll see you in the future. Okay, here we are in the future. Wow, things have really changed. Let's play this footage. And again, this is OpenCL and this is the exact same footage. Nothing has been applied, as in no LUTs, no grade, no OFX, anything like that. Let's play it. So as you can see, it is running pretty crap. It's at 20 frames per second, so not 25 frames, which is supposed to be. So it's basically running really chunky. So as you can see, OpenCL does not run very well on NVIDIA video cards. That's because CUDA is obviously the dedicated processing mode for NVIDIA, so that's why you'd always choose them. But if you can, even if you're on a Mac, choose CUDA, it will run better than OpenCL. So if you're still having playback issues and you're running CUDA, another thing I would suggest is to update your video card. It's very easy with NVIDIA, and I'll show you how to do that now. So if you have an NVIDIA card, all you'd have to do is open up GeForce Experience, go to Drivers, then check for updates. Well, that'll give you the option of updating to the latest drivers. Always make sure you're checking on that because it will run Resolve better. Another thing you can also do is delete all your render cache. Now I've made a video on this, so I'm not gonna go through it, but basically it's deleting everything that you've rendered through all your projects, not just the project you're working on, but even past projects. So there's a link in the description below that will show you the best way to do that. It's a very good video, highly recommend to watch that. One more thing, and this one, is a big one. If you run OpenCL, you may get the dreaded, your GPU memory is full. So basically this will come about 
if you're running OpenCL and you have heaps of nodes, say with lots of different effects on or different grades on. So when this pops up, it is an absolute nightmare to get rid of. It will slow your project you're working on to a crawl. So the best thing to do would be to limit the nodes you have in your project. Now I know that sounds really tricky. I don't get this message anymore when I run CUDA unless I have, let's say, 30 nodes or with noise reduction on them, but I never have a problem whatsoever. Ever since I've updated my drivers, selected CUDA, and deleted all my render cache, everything runs smoothly. But if you're running OpenCL, you may come across this problem. So that's another good reason to choose CUDA instead of OpenCL. So I hope this video helps in running Resolve better. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other problems with Resolve in terms of playback or anything you would want to learn. Maybe some color grade that you really like that you saw on a TV show. I really like the one in The Mandalorian. So I really should get around to doing that one. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I have enjoyed making it. I've been Drew from Gingo Productions and have a great day.